In this video, I'm going to talk about the most accurate way of testing if your emails land in spam or not today, especially as there are many solutions on the market and most of them are actually misleading. And I'll show you exactly how to perfectly run uh, spam tests and find out where your emails land and uh, get insights on how to improve your deliverability, right? So let's dive in. So the first thing is that most existing solutions to run a spam test are biased. And it kind of makes me angry. Uh, I'll explain you why. So the most known solution is mail-tester.com. You probably know it. So basically, uh, you send an email to an address they give you, and you click on check your score, and you get a report. The problem with that solution is that you get a score out of 10, but this score doesn't reflect at all your deliverability. You can have a 10 out of 10 score and still land fully in spam, right? So what's the point? I'm wondering, but actually this score is based on their criteria for a good email. Uh, so if you check some boxes, you'll get some points. Uh, if you don't check some boxes, you have points removed. But uh, it doesn't make sense because uh, the score should be based on where your emails land. Otherwise, it, it just doesn't make sense. So that's the first one. There's also uh, Mail Genius that is kind of in, in that style as well. What they have in common is that they only scan your email uh, and they give you a score based on this scan, right? That's how these tools work. But you can have perfect scores and still land fully in spam. So in that sense, for me, I'll say it's, these are useless solutions uh, for deliverability, actually. There's only one way today to test your inbox placement with accuracy, okay? And it's simple. This way is only to send a test email under your actual sending conditions and test and send this email to a list of mailboxes that represents your recipients. So if your recipients are professionals using Google Workspace or Outlook, uh, Office 365, then you should run a test by sending an email to mostly Google Workspace and Office 265 mailboxes and see where this, emails, this email lands, right? That's how you know your deliverability. That's the only way to know your deliverability. That's the first thing, and that's crucial. What's important as well is you need to ignore inbox providers you don't target. So as I said, you send, if you only send professional emails and you never send emails to consumer mailboxes, by consumer mailboxes, I mean gmail.com, hotmail, yahoo, etc. These are personal inboxes of individuals. If you never target uh, personal inboxes, then you shouldn't check your deliverability with these email boxes. Why? In some way today, Google and Microsoft, the major mailbox provider, they know, they kind of know that you are a professional sender and a professional sender shouldn't, according to them, shouldn't be emailing consumer mailboxes. So it's pretty normal and common to land in spam on gmail.com if you target only professional Gmail, right? And it's okay, it's fine. If you don't target them, it's fine, right? The same, if you only target consumer mailboxes, then you shouldn't check where your emails land on professional mailboxes, right? So check the, the mailbox type you target. These are the main points. Sending your email under actual sending conditions and checking the mailbox type you actually target. So I'm going to show you what is um, a test with marriage. Let's go on marriage and see how it looks like. So we are on marriage website, email spam test page. Here's how it works. You insert a code inside your email. So this is not uh, a test email under actual sending conditions because I'm not going to send this email as a campaign, but I'll copy paste the content. I put a subject like news and uh, hi, how are you doing? And that's my test email, right? I copied the, the, the codes. I copy the list of mailboxes and I click on send, right? 
and then I click on step three. Now Mailrich is going to look for my email in all the mailboxes I've sent it to. And yeah, so now the first thing is Mailrich asks you what's the type of inbox is your target. As I said earlier, I should only check my inbox placements that matches the, the, the type of inboxes used by my actual recipients, right? So in my case, I only target professional inboxes. So I click on professional. And then I can already see um, that my email landed in inbox on professional Gmail and professional Outlook, right? So that's, that's it. And I get my score 10 out of 10. It's perfect. Okay, so my deliverability is perfect on professional inboxes. But let's say uh, I also target personal inboxes. So I selected all types of inboxes here. That means the score will adapt based on the fact I selected all types of inboxes. So that includes personal Gmail and Yahoo, right? And in that case, you can see that I landed in spam on Hotmail, Outlook and Yahoo, right? But the reality here is that I don't care at all at these mailboxes. I never target them. So yes, I'm landing in spam. And we, we put a tooltip here explaining, uh, do you actually target these in inboxes? Because if not, then don't check them. So that's, gonna, that's what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to ignore a landing in spam. So I just click on professional inboxes and here my deliverability is perfect. And that's really important, guys. There's no need to panic when you land in spam on mailboxes you never target. And it's actually normal uh, because you're a professional sender, if that's your case. So yeah, that's it. So you can see your inbox placement and Mailrich will also check your content. If there's any spammy element, we'll check for spam words. Uh, well-known spam words, actually, because no, no tool can actually know all the spam words. We'll also check uh, if you have any blacklisted uh, domains, check your links, attachments, uh, tracking, etc., etc. Check many things. And we also check your setup. In, the, in that case, uh, there is a problem of DMARC for that mailbox, but otherwise everything is good. We check the SPF, DKIM, etc., etc. So we check both your content and setup. Uh, and um, and yeah, and your score is 100% based on where your emails land, which should be the norm. So this was the test. I can also show you the automated test. So on Mailrich, when you are um, a paid user on Mailrich, so you can run spam tests like I've done here, but on on my demo it was on the the free version. But you can run a spam test from the app here, and you can set up an automated test. So I'm gonna show you this one there's uh, some steps before but basically you select your sending mailbox you send your email templates and you set up the frequency of your test so you can say okay run this test every two days at this hour uh, and send me the report in slack then you'll see in slack every two days a message saying hey uh, this mailbox got a 10 out of 10 score uh, or this mailbox card, a 7 out of 10 score, there's a problem of deliverability, do something, etc., etc. So you can set up automated test. Um, that's it. And the last thing I want to I wanna talk about is that if you're sending B2B cold emails, make sure to also consider using email warming because email warming is what raises your sender reputation. That's needed to land in inbox in the long run because deliverability is based on three factors your sender reputation, your email content, and your sending setup. Running a spam test helps you test your final deliverability, but to constantly land in inbox, you need a great sender reputation. And this sender reputation is the result of having a high engagement rate on your email activity, like receiving a lot of positive interactions, openings, replies, positive replies, having your emails marked as important, removed from spam, etc. So make sure to consider email warming. Uh, Marriage offers a great solution for email warming. Um, so check that out. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's what I wanted to tell you about spam testing. I'll put some links in the description. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel uh, to receive 
all the tips you need to know to land in inbox in the long run because deliverability, having your emails land in inbox, not in the spam folder, um, is crucial on your email results. Otherwise, if you're landing in spam, you're missing revenue, you're missing customers. So subscribe to the channel and uh, I wish you the best for your deliverability. All right. Bye-bye.